What's up, guys? So, fencing is about to begin. Tell them more. So, we're going to have a mulcher come in and chew up all our trees. So Which trees? These trees. All of them? Yeah. What about the environment? We have to build more fence. Why? Because the cows are coming! Yay! Oh, I'm excited! <laughs> Just kidding. They're not coming till the spring. But we gotta get everything ready, so we're gonna be saving some fence posts. Yeah, so we're getting an old fence out of the way. This is a small field right near the yard site. We're gonna be mulching on the property line through these trees and all around the quarter and the other quarter, and you'll see videos about that. But basically, we got this old ragged fence here. Rusty old crappy wire and um, pretty loose posts. But the posts, I think, are probably okay to reuse or could be used in some spots. But then here in the willows, as it gets deeper, that was a stick. <laughs> here the fence line's grown in. Here's where it gets messy. If you come, you look up here, we've got an old gate, we've got a corner post falling down, and then our fence line's going right, right here, right in the middle of all these grown-in trees. So I'm going to try and just knock the wire off, pull out the post, drag the wire out and roll it. This way when the mulcher's in, they can come through and take a clean shot, or when we're fencing later, we can just fence on the clear spot. We're also getting all this surveyed to see exactly where the line is, there's going to be a lot of videos, a lot of work, a lot of projects coming up, and a lot of money being spent. So, lots of content if you <laughs> want to watch us work while you sit at home and watch us work. Yeah. Something seems wrong about this. Anyways, we're going to grab some tools, and our pliers, and get going. Oh, and we got married. Me and her. She's right there. Yeah, it's pretty lucky, I know. One might say I roped her into it. Can I make it stop? Okay, let's go to work. Okay, so we're just cutting wire. We got the corner post running down from this line. We're going to cut the wires off instead of unwrapping it all. This wire seems pretty shot anyways. But we still got to clean it up. I don't want to just leave it in my field. And, uh, then I should have the corner braced off. I'll go along the fence posts and take all the staples out. And I might hook the truck up to the wires and try to pull them right out. Okay, there's those four wires done. Some electrical fastening gate. Oh, oh yeah, look at that. It's just ready to come out. It's just begging to be refenced. But this wire is decent. The video steady, you'll have a lot to edit. Awesome. Keep videoing me shredding my fingers. There we go. Ah. There we go. Somehow I feel like I didn't get the, the good job with this. Oh, I forgot a bucket. I need a bucket. I'm starting to get some of it rolled up, but it's all just a mess through the tree. It wasn't going to hold no cow. You missed Saskatchewan yet? <laughs> yes. There weren't trees in our way. Granted, they actually get rain here. It is true. Who's winning at tug of war? Laws of physics and friction. But I got the uh, got the wire. Hey, there's an end. <laughs> I got the wire unhooked at the other end. Try roll this back the other way. Maybe meet in the middle or pull it through. I don't know yet. I think I might have to go buy a chainsaw. Yeah, I just it's enough work putting clearing up barbed wire without trees now where there's trees everywhere and this is what happens when you just hay your field when you just hay your field the haybine only goes a couple feet away from the fence and the bush every year 
and every year the bush encroaches a couple more feet and then this is probably only 10 years old and you got full-blown trees growing right through the middle of your fence so I'm excited to be putting cattle on here doing some management intensive grazing like rotational grazing like Greg Judy would do and uh, see if the extra pressure will and the grazing will keep these trees and bush down and keep the grass established strong. A quarter of one line down and ten more to go. Lumberjack Brock. Mm -hmm. So in case you're wondering, pulling out a fence in Alberta is a little tricky. Yeah, if you like playing tug of war with trees, look at that raw strength. Got it. Four more wires to go. I think it'll slowly get easier. Half an hour till sunset. All the fencing that we ever have to do. It's not like I just got 20 grand worth of quotes to survey and mulch and build fence lines. Yeah, all the fences are in place. What are you talking about? Fencing's cheap and easy. <laughs> just put it wherever you want. We did! Yay! Big drainage ditch here. This comes up off of the highway. We're kind of at the bottom of a hill here. The highway, as you can tell, cars are running by. It's got a, all the water's gonna collect along the highway and go through a culvert just up here. So this drainage just goes along my little road all the way down into the, uh, the little stream running through the property. So, it's kind of a mess. I want to see what it's like in the spring, but that's probably why it's so flooded here. Ah. I'm not used to working this hard. We've got the second line pulled out from the trees and spread out here. I think I'm going to go work from the other end and roll it up. I'm probably going to go in and have supper soon, but anyways, right here, see there's two wires gone. There's just this one and another one underneath. And then this is all cleared. This is all cleared and ready to go. And then once we get the survey in, we'll be able to tell. If this is the real property line, maybe we put it here. If it's over there, we'll move it over. Might get the mulcher to come in and just grind this all up. That's gonna be a sweet video, mulching. Watch them just tear up the trees. But uh, yeah, anyways, this is about the smallest amount of work that we have to do on all of it. So we're gonna try and post more short videos and more often and I think there's gonna be lots of content with this new place and my new wife and we're both excited. So like and subscribe if you want to see more. What she said. Otherwise, bye. <laughs>